All right, this is two different ways to rotate our player depending on the mouse position or any other position that you would like. All right, so first thing we're going to do is continue on from last video where we have a character body that can move around. We're going to add a marker 2D. It used to be something else in Godot 3, but now it is marker 2D. I believe it used to be position 2D, but now it's marker 2D. So make sure that's what you add. We're going to move our sprite into the marker 2D because the marker 2D is what we're going to use as a reference to look at things. So let's add a script. We're going to add default built in. That's okay. We're going to save. And we're only going to be using the process function. In this process function, we have two different ways of doing this. The first one is a function called look at. This is going to essentially take our marker and rotate it depending on where our vector is. So we're going to look at the position of our mouse. And we can get that position by saying get global mouse position. And now we can play. And whenever I move, it'll follow my mouse. So if I move my mouse, it'll also look at that mouse. All right, and this is very powerful because we can now also add other things like a weapon or something. All right, another way to do this, let's comment that out. There's an, also another function called rotate. In that function, we essentially rotate towards a angle. However, how do we get the angle from where we are to the mouse position? Well, you know, for us, there's a function for that called get angle two. And we get angle two, get global mouse position. And this is also useful, not because of this, because it sometimes look at might not be the best way to do this. So now we have a way to get angle two, they get the global mouse position, maybe not the mouse position for you what you want to do, but this is a very good way to do it. And so we can rotate whatever we have to that mouse position. And so now we can play and our mouse will follow our player and our player will now follow our mouse and it will rotate depending on where my mouse is. All right, and so that's how you rotate something around uh, a mouse or another thing. Um, hopefully this helps. Um, I hope you guys can use this in your own games, and that is it. I uh, hope you guys learned some stuff. I have a Discord down below that you should join. Um, if, you wanna, if you need any help for your games or if you want to showcase your games, that would be awesome. Um, I also have a Patreon. Check that out. I have a Twitch. Follow my Twitch. That'd be awesome if you could do that. Um, I try to stream at least once a week, so I hope to see you guys around. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.